The Hijra community, which is a subsect of the transgender community, operates the community which are divided into different Jamaats. Each area will have at least uh, four or three, I mean like the Nayaks. At least each district will have at least three Nayaks. So in this Jamaat system where individuals upon realizing their transgender identities may escape their unsupportive families and be taken under the wing of the transgender Hijra Nayak, here they are often compelled into beggary and sex work. And if the Guru approves their sex reassignment surgery, the individual must do the Guru bidding, that is beggary, murcha, sex work, until um, he or she repays the debt. So these Nayaks have strong social networks among themselves and every Jamaat has its own specific rituals. The story of trans women rescued from forced sex work from Madurai after uh, a continuous struggle with her identity, this person ran away from her home and somehow was compelled to forced into sex work and begging in Bangalore. But she refused to do so. But did she really have a choice? The question is no. Now you must ask who will pay to have sex with these transgender people. The truth is men just need flesh. There are Imams who visit these girls, they tie their beards up and do not touch the girls' bodies as they penetrate because they consider it a haram to touch their bodies. These Nayaks are very powerful people both socially and financially. They have large networks and even fund some political individuals to ensure their safety. And there is a girl named Anusha. To save herself, she, I mean, she's a hijra, she was a hijra. She, to save herself, she left, fled from the Jamaat in Vishakapatnam. And somehow she ended up in Mumbai. This is when well-known transgender activists spotted her and called her Nayak, I mean the Anusha's Nayak, and uh, told her, your girl is here in Mumbai, come and fetch her, like that she told. You know, what happened next will give you, it's like shocking that the girl after being caught was burned to death. So this is 21st century. We individuals should be paying their us, our taxes to the government, not to some Nayaks. As I say, the traditions and the indigenous uh, rituals and the dharmic values of this community need to be protected. The superstition within this community need to be questioned too. So the details of Gori slavery system that is being practiced in you know, this community for past 600 plus years because of the Mughals and uh, colonial influence, especially uh, this was not the system for sure before 1000 years or like uh, 